Tokyo's inspiration. This is a typical day of how Nani lived her last three months of 2023. She was juggling between writing and directing gigs while punching clock elsewhere. This vlog is a perfect illustration of an artist heading down the wrong path, burned out. The eight keys to burn out. Look at this, the peace before the storm. Of course, Nani doesn't know that yet. Nani just wants to show off her birthday card to you. She's proud of her friend, knows her love for cats. By procrastinating from her writing, she spent two hours to set up her iPad to make it categorized and fancy. Keys to burnout number one: lack of self-awareness towards self-sabotaging behavior. Look at her, still thinks she has the time to chill with a cup of coffee and read a book, taking notes with some vibes. I say enjoy it since it's not for long. In fact, she's already 50 pages behind the reading schedule of her friend's book club. She's playing catching up. Keys to burnout number two. Make sure you always playing catch up. I just finished the reading for the day, but I think I'm going to try to read a little bit more tonight to catch up. I got two different side gigs. One is writing a script. Now I only have three weeks to write that 70 pages of screenplay. But one of the thing about working on a project that's not personal is there will be less procrastination, less hesitation during the writing process. Another thing is working with a director on a web series. We are working on breaking down the story at the moment, and the filming is happening in November. So basically, two side gigs is happening at the same time. <laughs> I had too much of an appetite and also I want to buy an iPad. Another one? Looks like I just got text message. They want me to pick something up on the way to work. So I have to head out now. But I still want to bring my stuff for the writing so I can get something done during the lunch break. Yeah, so I'm going to pack and then head out. Look, Burger is mesmerized by the morning sun. Every morning when I open my blinds, they just come here to check out what's going on outside. Get a little sun bath. So cute. Right now, I only have my um, iPad with pencil attached. I directly put in there. My iPad stand in there and then some different pens tucked in there like that. Keyboard with me, ear pods coffee jar because I want to get some coffee beans. I'm also bringing my Onyx tablet. It's an e-ink tablet. I have an adopted story in here, so when I'm writing, I need to referencing the story with this tablet. Oh my gosh, she has so many interesting things. Well, not that glamorous. Her overworking started her shopping addiction. More work means more shopping. Waste time, money, and energy. Key super now number three. Put yourself in a vicious cycle of overwork for money and spend money. Have you noticed she really filmed inside of her car? Because she doesn't have time to clean up the mess. You can tell just by looking at the poo on the windshield. Keys to burn down number four. Give yourself a messy environment. After day job. Hi again. Hi, Nani. Nani always makes sure to overestimate what she can do. She thinks she can jump right back into writing after her day job. See, she's managing to do some unproductive writing. But her short attention span from lack of energy removed her from her chair to chat with a friend. Keys to burnout number five. Remember, taking a break is not important. Nani hates me. Every time I try to hang out with her, she gives me some crazy excuses. But really, she's like one of my best friends. If anybody else thinks you're the best friend, it's not true. It's me. 
Nani's friend made a good point. Nani always busy and she neglects her friends and never go out. Kiss to burn down number six. Don't value your friends and family. Just keep working. Not sure if you noticed it, but she is also vlogging on a busy day. Hi friends, I'm back to home. Back at home. Today was a pretty good day. I had a really good mood. I was working on putting down notes about the character setting thing that I want to change. I'm going to pause on that project for the day. Right now, I'm going to work on the other project. It's actually 5.30. I'm going to meet the director at 7.30. Each night, I call the director and we will went through the story episode by episode. She will bring up all the concerns she has and we will discuss how we're going to change and rewrite. Once I wrote down all the notes, my job is to actually making the change in the screenplay. So right now, I want to go into rewrite the page 11 to page 25 hopefully I can finish then I can send her those pages to do another round of review and let's do that she thinks she is being productive by jumping right back into writing and also she makes sure that she is writing a different project she thinks she should push through it and do more unproductive writing Keys to burn down number seven. Always multitasking between different things. It's 6.45. I've done the rewrite of the dialogue for about an hour. I'm going to eat dinner, get ready for the video call later. After dinner. Hello, I'm back from my dinner. Every time after I have lunch or dinner, I tend to get really tired. I'm going to log into my Discord and then get ready for the call. Nani thinks she is so productive by having two hours of meeting right after dinner. Guys, I finished the meeting. We end up did an extra hour. We did more than we planned to do. Made a lot of progress, but I'm very tired right now. I don't know if you can see like it. <laughs> I'm a mess. But right now it's already 10.15 and I feel very tired. I really need to get ready to go to bed so I can get up early to do more writing in the morning. I was hoping also to read a little bit more of In Search of Lost Time. That's okay. At least right now my minimum goal is to keep up with the 10 pages a day and uh, get all my writing and those psychic work done while working at my day job. This week and next week, I'm also working at my day job for 11 days straight. I've been working a lot. Um, I think it's because of those psychic are things I'm interested in doing. So overall, I don't feel burnt out yet, hopefully. She thinks this is so exciting and let's do more, more and more. Keys to burnout out number eight. Believe you won't burn out and you can always do more, more and more. Burnout kills inspiration. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy my writing blog, you can also click right here to check out my other writing blogs. And be patient, be present, stay creative. I'll see you next week. Bye.